So a brief intro to me, I'm Patrick Ames. I'm a senior software engineer working at Amazon. Been working there for six, going on seven years now. And I work in the business data technologies group at Amazon, which focuses on large scale business intelligence problems. One of the biggest problems that Ray has helped us resolve is improving the scalability, latency, and cost efficiency of very large change data capture workloads at Amazon. So Amazon has all these tables. We say things like, hey, add these records to the table, update these records, delete these records. It turns out that it's a very expensive process to apply all of these table updates at a very large scale, at petabyte scale, at exabyte scale. So we were able to build a much more optimal implementation of this with Ray. We were able to improve the scalability that we were previously able to achieve by an order of magnitude. We were able to reduce the latency of these operations by over 90%. We were able to improve their cost efficiency by over 90%. So as a general purpose distributed compute substrate, this was a major win for us. Some of the advantages that Ray has compared to other solutions are, I think, the ease with which you can get started writing applications with Ray on just a single machine and then scaling that same application code up to a distributed framework with little to no code changes. I think its APIs are very intuitive very easy to use. And in particular, I think it's one of the strongest distributed compute APIs for Python. We were looking for distributed compute frameworks that allowed data scientists and machine learning engineers to use the languages that they know best, languages like Python, to actually solve large-scale distributed compute problems. And Ray was one of the easiest, most intuitive frameworks that allowed them to write good Pythonic distributed compute applications to solve very complicated problems. There are problems that are very complicated to solve, and they will take you so much longer to solve, and they will cost you so much more to solve, and they will cost you so much more to maintain. They may cost you so much that it's infeasible financially to use anything other than Ray. So while I may not say it's impossible to solve any problem without Ray. I would say without a compute framework that was as flexible and as efficient as Ray wound up being for us. It was financially infeasible for us to approach that problem with any other distributed compute framework that we tried. Customers expect things to be available 24 seven with nearly zero downtime these days. So Ray's going to meet customer expectations where they're at with high availability is my thought.